into a foggy, it's foggy in my neighborhood, windy Sunday morning. It's really kind of dramatic here. It's, uh, I know the Bay Area is a whole bunch of microclimates and you may not be in the Bay Area, you may be somewhere else. But let's take a seat on our mat, on our sit bones with our head over our tailbone, ear, uh, shoulder and hip in alignment. If you can't get yourself on your sit bone in this position, take your leg out and that will toggle you into it, but make sure you switch to the other side. We're gonna do our warm up, and today is a super set day. <coughs> Excuse me, inhale up, exhale the ceiling and inhale down. And exhale up and inhale down. <coughs> exhale up and inhale down. You ever choke on your own spit? Exhale up and inhale and then take it over to the right side. Now, one of the things you wanna make sure is that your ears and elbow are in alignment. As you push away from the hip and the hip and the glute is pushing down into the mat. This bottom arm is nice and soft so that you can stay in that flexibility rather than push out into that length, right? So get that nice and long. Let's draw our arm back and then push across and reach to the other side. There you go, you're getting it. Get it nice and long, grab your ear, bottom of it, take it across, remember also here, to keep yourself in alignment. So no rolling forward. This hand stays kind of gently touching the mat. And then as you push across on the inhale, rotate your chest toward your hip. On the exhale, pushing your hand toward the wall or whatever's over there and your shoulder toward the ceiling. You wanna make that rotation nice and strong. We're not gonna go deep until we go into our spinal twist, which happens right now. Turn on your thigh, sweep it up, come around into that rotation. Head and shoulder tracks. Right, so you are pushing again that other hip and the other glute to the floor as you take it around. You inhale and exhale. Keep going. Good. Now inhale to prepare and exhale. Bring yourself back to center. Roll your shoulder back and roll your shoulder forward. Let's switch those legs. Again, you can take one leg out if you can't get on your sit bones. Inhale up, or if it just hurts to bend your knees, exhale the ceiling and inhale down and exhale up and inhale down and exhale up. Last one, inhale down, exhale up, inhale and exhale over to the other side. Ear and elbow in alignment. Make sure your head is over your tailbone. We have a tendency to roll our chin toward our chest when we're doing bends. This is old habits. So we're trying to break those and always stay in alignment. Inhale back with that elbow and exhale, reaching, 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 pushing the glute into the floor. Great, grab your ear and take your head across. You wanna feel the scalenes open up. We like the word scalenes. Good, inhale over, exhale, rotate. This is our gentle rotation. You're gonna breathe and exhale, exhale, exhale. Then put your hand on your thigh and here's our deeper rotation. Take it all the way around. Big inhale and exhale and rotate. Good job. Head and shoulder tracks. You lift up during all of your you lift up during all of your rotations. You don't let yourself fall into your lumbar region. Inhale to prepare or your lower back. Exhale, come to the front. Inhale your arms wide, exhale them together. Inhale, pushing the palms forward. Exhale, open the back. So you don't pull your shoulders forward. You just let your back open out, filling, filling it, filling it, filling it, right? Good job. Now bring your hands down. We're gonna open our legs to frog putting our feet together. It's a wide, it's a kind of long one. It's not up inside your groin. So from here we hinge, letting our back cascade forward. So instead of twisting our back, we're bending forward and letting our back release. You don't have to go far. You just go as far as you can and that you feel that back release. Nice. Big inhale and exhale and push it further down. Wherever you feel that hip, say, okay, I'm done. All right, we're gonna take it up slowly. So we're going to slide the hands into the center and curl ourselves up. Put those feet out in front of you and rock back and forth. Opening the hips, getting that vibe, the blood, the oxygen, all that good stuff. All right, let's go down to our mats. Put your legs out. Your uh, feet are always in front of your knees. You're lifted over your sit bones. Your head is over your tailbone. And again, we look for that tracking in the shoulder, hips, and ear. When we come down to the mat, we come down vertebrae by vertebrae. We do not let any part precede the other part. You articulate as you go down. This is most important in almost everything you do in Pilates. When you get to the bottom, lift your glutes up and take them further down. You wanna open the area between your shoulder and your hips. So walk your chest up, 
we've got a lot of stuff that we, we could expand that we could explore in the in the body all right let's check our body hand on the belly inhale into your hand exhale pushing your belly button to the spine don't push your uh, lumbar down so you want to make sure your powerhouse is nice and open and neutral inhale again exhale simultaneous with that we push the second and third quadrant of the abs up and under the rib cage. So inhale up, exhale. So you start to feel that zipped up feeling, right? Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale. All right, and finally, we lock it all in with these soft closed rib cage right here. Your fingers are pointing toward your thumbs around the adipose tissue of your chest. Inhale up, exhale. Push those fingers together, close. So one of the things that happens when you put yourself in Pilates position is you open what's behind you and that becomes the way you plant your body or anchor your body. So let's start with our warm up. Right leg to tabletop, always point, left leg to tabletop. This is your go-to position if you have back concerns. We're gonna inhale into our curl up. Now remember a curl up means that your eyes are between your knee or thighs and not looking at your feet. You don't want your head supported by your neck at any time. We're going to walk it out here. Touch down with your toes. Inhale. Up. Let's try to keep the legs sit on with apart. Come on. We don't want them together because that pulls the hips toward the center. And right now we're just going to work parallel and get the strength of our alignment. Let's keep going. Good. Curl yourself up. Make sure you're looking through your thighs. Okay. What happens if you're not good at the curl up? You just put your head down, right? You can be right here. Now you'll feel a little bit more arch in your back because you're not bringing the back into that supported curve, but we'd rather have that than have your neck be holding that head. The neck is so delicate. All right, good. All right, let's double time, but keep coming back to tabletop. Don't cross the tabletop position right here. Nice, perfect. Eight, seven, six. So you reinforce the curl up every time, right? Four, three, pull that belly in, two, we're always going for neutral, one, get that tabletop here. You have the legs at tabletop. Keep them there if you have back concerns. We're going to the hundreds. If you don't, extend them out to 45. Hands at the side. We're gonna pump for four, inhale, or five. Pump for five, exhale, till we get to 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 10. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 50. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 70, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 80, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 90, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 100, stay right there, take one leg up, the other leg down, double pulse, one, two, one, two, keep going, now this should be easy on your back, uh, the the scissor split, one, two, one, two. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. However, if you feel any concern with your back, concern, it doesn't even have to be pain, just concern, keep those legs bent, right? One, two, one, two, keep going. 10 more, 10, good, nine, eight, pointed foot, seven, six, good, five, four, good, three and two and one of your knees lower your head and lower your feet okay supersets let's talk about them supersets mean that you work the same muscle group with two different exercises back to back more than one time so we're going to do two rounds of everything okay so we're going to start very simply we're going to start with some leg extensions and um lifts and lowers so again, keep yourself protected, put your head down if you have to, and we're gonna start slow, and then we're gonna pick up the pace. Right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop, inhale, chin above chest, exhale, pull yourself up, hands at the side, push it out to point, and out to point. Good, you got it. So you wanna stay sit bone width apart, or even hip width apart. 
what you want to do is work through the front of the leg in the transverse abdominal and you don't want to pull the hip over and get that hip constantly contracting and expanding because it's going to fatigue you for other things that are going to go on today so let's try to stay in the position that we um that we we can protect our hips with good nice 10 and nine and eight, you stay curled up. You look between those thighs, trying to avoid looking at the feet. That lifts your head. Six, last five, and four. This is still gonna be one set. Three, and two, extend, and one. Now, we're gonna take both feet at a time. This isn't the second part of the superset. It's still the first part. However, if you have back concerns, you might wanna do one leg at a time. One, good. Two, right to tabletop. Three, good job. Four, five, six, pull yourself up. Seven, keep doing the exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, eight, nine. You're gonna do 10 more after this, 10. Nice, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Everything stays anchored, three, two and one hold it out there here's the second part of the superset lift and lower lift and lower it's two putting on my fan three four five good up and down good perfect nice you've got it can i help you <laughs> anybody want a dog you got 10 more, 10 more sets, and 10, and nine, and nine. So the uh, trajectory is 90 to 45, right? You don't go, you go from that position all the way up, from that position all the way up, keep going. Good, you don't wanna go lower than the 45. We're not working on taking care of that back right now. I don't know where we are, four more, four, good. And three, you've got it, and two, Nice job. And one, you know, we're going to do both, right? Take it up and down. Two, be articulating through this whole thing, right? Let your legs push out and they're going to feel heavy after a while, right? They're going to feel heavy. So the super set so challenging. The fact that you fatigue your muscles through the first set and through the second set, you're working with fatigued muscles. As a result, you're passing your own thresholds and you're becoming stronger and more toned over time. Let's do more, eight more, eight and seven. Hold it at the bottom, six, hold it at the top. Always a pause, five, don't float through it, four and three and two and one. Go back to tabletop. So we're starting at the top, second part of the superset. We're gonna take it just a little bit faster, one, Push, inhale, exhale, three, nice, four, got it, five, perfect, six, perfect, seven, eight, good job, nine, pull it through, ten, ten more, ten, nine, point that feet, those feet, eight, seven, so the pointed legs, six, Pull through the front of your body, five, which means you access through the transverse abdominal, four, that's your belly, three, you don't want to access through the glutes, two, and one, now together, take it, one, good, two, push, three, four, five, always that pause, six, look through those thighs, seven, eight, your thigh gap, right, nine, ten more, word I never heard of a few years ago, nine, eight, marketing always in bed skill language, six, five, pull that belly in, four, three, two, second part of the superset, lift, good, and lift, and lift, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, so one of the things you want to do is to make sure that when you come down on that exhale, you're constantly scooping out, right? Inhale, exhale, so scoop every time. Again, you can put your head down on the floor if you need to. If that curl up is not working for you, 
but, it, but I want you to keep thinking of the kickstand between the bottom of the shoulder blades that's holding you up. You're curling toward your belly button. Think of yourself as a candy cane. I always like that image. But let's say four more, four. Good. And three. Don't forget to pause at the top. Two. Nice, don't float through it. And one, both sides. Let's do the legs together. One, good. Two, nice. Three. Now the reason I'm not going faster here, four, because this pulls on your back just a little bit more. Five, six, make sure you pause at the top. Seven, eight, nice. Nine, good job. 10 more, nice. 10, nine, eight, pull it in. Seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We finished our first superset. Hug your knees, lower your head, and get ready for some obliques. Now I gotta pull this out a little bit. One of the things I wanna tell you about the obliques, the second set is the star. I'm gonna show you the star first, although it's gonna be the second set, because that's the, not the most intuitive and it's the most challenging. So let me just demo that with you or you, you can join me in the demo. So your arms are, and legs are wide, right? And when you go to the star, you curl up, curl up in that big deep breath that we always use. You can use support of your hands. You want the leg to start to hover. As you curl up, start to hover, and then you reach, right? And bring it down. So for some people, Doing that reach jerks them a little bit out of their hips and then gives them a little bit of cog pause, right? So one of the things you want to do is make sure you do the hover first and then bring yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae. If that doesn't work for you, just bring yourself up into a curl and bend your leg, okay? All right, but the first set is going to be our crossovers. Right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop. Bring yourself up, hands behind your head. Nice and wide. Extend one leg, we're gonna do side to side ones. We don't lower, we just turn, we stay lifted, arms stay wide. So inhale and exhale, point those feet out, nice and slow, good. And four, good. Five, keep lifting, six. So you wanna feel everything curled off the floor, seven, <clears throat> eight, so if you feel this part of your body come down nine, the serratus and under the underarm 10, you've got to work harder on that curl up. 10, just keep it lifted, nine, eight, push it out. If you're feeling back things, take it straight up. Six, last five, and four, three more, and two, good, and one, both sides. Drop yourself into the star. Now we're only gonna do 10 sets of the star because the star does so much work, right? Takes the whole body into consideration. All right, remember the curl up and we're gonna alternate. So curl, one and one, good job. Two and two, nice. Three, now one of the things, three you're aiming for, four and four is to curl yourself into that, not push yourself off the arm into it. Five. And five, good job. Six, curl up and six, nice. Seven and seven, eight and eight, good job. Nine and nine, plus two sets or two movements, 10. And bring yourself back. Second part of your superset. Now, what's important about supersets is that you don't stop, you do take it straight through. This will be a little bit faster. Extend one leg, over, good, two, three, push out, four or up, five, remember your back, six, good, seven. Now when you have your arm, your head in your hand, eight, your head in your hands, nine, try to keep it low, 10, so that you're not pushing your head down with your hands, 10, right? You don't wanna push it down, so keep the hands low at the bottom of the skull, so eight, seven, Six, last five, and four, three more, and two, nice job, and one. Good, bring your knees together, 
and open them up. Last set of this superset. Do this at your own pace because I really want you to articulate, but I do want to ramp it up for those of us who are there. Good. One and one, two and two, three, no, and three, I'm still hitting my background, four and four, five and five, good, six and six, good job, seven, nice, eight, good, and nine, and 10, you're there, bringing it together, got a little bit of cardio on that one, squeeze, and take a nice deep breath, good job, one more on our backs, and then we'll go to other positions, nice, so, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, okay. Now I remember what I was going to do. Cross one leg over the other. We're going to put our hands in front for this one, not at the side. So just in front. So supersets. This might be difficult for some of you, so I'm going to give you an alternative in a second. So you're going to curl up and hold, lower down. Curl up and hold, lower down. Okay, for those of you for whom this is difficult, just put one leg up and the other one down and you still get that isolation, right? Three, four, nice. Five, good. Six, you're pulling all the way through the abdominus rectus. Seven, we wouldn't have a nice hold at the top. Eight, remember this is a curl up. Nine, the, the first thing that happens is the chin goes down toward your chest, 10, so that you're not letting yourself hold with your neck. Good, curl that chin, nine, eight, hold it nice and tight, seven, curl it, six, you'll revisit this later when we add kundu to our supersets, four, good, Three, nice. Two, good job. And one, we're gonna switch the legs. Good, one, and nice. Two, perfect. Three, pull it in, good. Four, good. Five, nice and strong. Now, this is hurting your head at all. Arm at the bottom of your head, six and let it push forward into your, over your chest eight. But remember, you're holding an orange, nine, ten more, good. Or if you wanna have your arms at the side, 10, you can also do that. Nine, hold it, really pull that whole thing into a big long string, eight, seven, six. One of the reasons I'm not using my arms is eight, uh, five, is I'm not asking for lat and shoulder support. That's what you get here. Everything um, supports what's going on, right? Four more. Four, hold it. And three, good. And two, nice. And one, hold it right here and let it go. Okay, the second part of the superset is the double leg stretch. I wanna remind you that you're anchored with your upper body. Your legs can go up instead of out. So bring your legs all the way in and touch your ankles. Curl yourself all the way up. When you inhale, you push out. Exhale around. Two, good. Again, back concerns. Three, take the legs up. Four, you can also have your head down. Five, good. Six, when you have it down, nod your chin down. Seven, good. Eight, nice. Nine, you wanna keep your legs tightly together. 10, 10 more. 10, nine, you got it. Eight, perfect. Seven, six, good job. Five, four, nice. Three, good. Two, and one, nice job. Put the feet down, take them extended, second part of the superset. You put your hands where you want to, curl your, and you're gonna curl up. One, hold it. We're going right to candy cane. Two, 
Good. Three. Good job. Four. Nice. Five. Curl it up. Six. Perfect. Seven. Eight. Nice. Nine. You hear that? And ten more. Good job. Curl your chin first. You want to smooth out the back of your neck. Nine. You don't want it to be head over tailbone at that point. Eight, right? Seven, six, come on. Five, pull it deep. Four, good job. So what you should feel is your, is your belt planting three and two as you come up. And one, your cummerbund, six the other way. One, good. Two, nice job. Three, you're not resting your head, right? You're slightly lowering. Four, five, tight. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, ten more. You got it. Ten, nine, yes, and again, eight. If this doesn't work for you with your hands here, you can put it in here. Seven, make sure it's the back bottom of your head. Six. So there you're not pushing your head. Five and four, it's just supporting. Three and two and one. Bring those knees in. Stay in your curl up. Take it out and one. Lift and two. Again, if this, after the last one, three, you need to put your head down. Four, because you just didn't quite get that curl up. Five, and it's a little bit of achy. Take it down. Six, seven. Eight, good, nine, and ten more. Ten, curl right. Don't look at your feet. Nine, eight, we want to look at our feet. Don't look seven. I want to. Six, five, four, good job. Three, and two, and one. Lower the feet down. Drop them away from the screen. Take a nice deep breath. Just to pause, bring them toward the screen. Right here. Good. And Yay. Yep. Bring your arm around. Are we having a problem? I heard a voice. No, I was happy. <laughs> oh, you're happy you're getting onto your side. Okay. Well, you may or may not be happy with what's coming up all the way down the mat. Put your elbow under your under your um, shoulder, that alignment, right? Your hips are in alignment and we're going up into a side plank. Now you can have your legs stacked. You can have them uh, staggered if you need more support or you can have one leg bent. So you decide what kind of support you need. The superset is gonna be a 30 second hold. Then we'll come down, then we'll come up and we're gonna do 10 tuck unders. We'll do that twice. All right, get ready to sweep yourself up. I'm waiting for the clock to get a reasonable number so I can see the 30 seconds. All right, get your head aligned to inhale and reach up. Let's do 30 seconds. Let's go. So what are you doing in this position? You are creating a long line from the elbow all the way to the top of the fingers. You're pulling yourself up, not by lifting your hips, but by pulling that belly button to the spine. So as you go up, that takes you up, right? So while you're up there, you keep continually supporting that because you want to support your lift and you want to support the alignment in your body. Good. And we're almost there. And bring it back down. All right. For the second half, and if you're feeling a push in your shoulders, what does that tell you? That you're using that as support instead of your belly. So let's practice before we go to the second part of moving the air down the body. So inhale to your chest. Exhale down into your belly. See how much more strength you have down there? All right, tuck unders, let's go up. One, lift, two, good. Inhale, exhale, four, good, five, six, nice, seven, good, eight, good job, nine, nice, and 10, and lower yourself down. Bring your knees in and take a quick opening to your back. And we're going to go to the second part of the superset. Now, you may have been stacked on the first set. You might go staggered on the second. 
you might do support, whatever you need to do. We're gonna, we're almost to the uh, perfect time. Inhale and bring yourself up, nice long arm. Now, when you get up there, you start to feel a wobbling and you start to feel it here. I would come down again and bring myself back up again. I wouldn't let myself try to adjust when I'm in the lifted position because that's going to rotate inside your um, inside your shoulder, right? So push down with your feet and then bring yourself back up again. Good, nice. And let's bring ourselves down. All right, the tuck under. Here it comes. Get ready. I think I'm ready. Oh, I stagger on this one. All right, let's tuck under. One, good. Two. So that's something I didn't say before. Three. You can be stacked for one, staggered for the other. Four. On the tuck under, I like to be staggered because it eliminates the movement in my hips. Five, because I'm kind of six, seven, more supported. Eight and nine. Good job. And 10. And lower it down. Let's pike. Take your elbow back, your glutes back, and your legs forward, pointed really high off the ground. We're going to do the, the superset is going to be the lift, lift, down, down, and the double lift. So these are ones we know. One of the things that happens is we have a tendency to roll back. So let's tuck our hips under and take ourselves forward. Make sure you have that hinge there or you won't have your flexibility. Also, you can come down on your bicep. It's up to you. So the first part is lift, lift, lower, lower. Two, good. So three, the hinge has everything to do with it. Four, if you don't have it in the hinge, you probably aren't gonna be able to lift those legs. Five, good. Six, nice. Seven, good job. Eight, arm up or to the front. Nine, just to keep yourself from falling back. 10 more, 10, reach, reach, nine, reach, reach, eight, hope that shoulder's okay. Remember where the uh, energy is, seven, the support, six, five, four, good job, three, two, and one. All right, the second part is going to be the reaches to the feet. We have 10 of those, so not 20. Let's go lift off your shoulder. Make sure you lift it off. Arm overhead so you get some lat support here. One, good. Two, you got it. Three, four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, good job. Curl the upper body and the lower body, and 10, and bring it back down. All right, you want to reposition yourself for the second half. Go ahead. Make sure you're in that pike. Lift, lift for 20. One. Good. Two. Now, this is all kind of good for your back. Three, because you are not only in a pike position, which softens your back out. Four, there's no twisting in your back at all. Five, so if you're feeling it, you want to adjust your feet a little bit, six, and make sure your arm is at some place that creates seven, an alignment for you. Eight, good job. Nine, 10 more. 10, point both feet. Nine, good. Eight, perfect. Seven, six, last five, good job. Four, push through. Three, two, and one. Arm goes overhead. Let's take it for 10. One, good job. Two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, nice. And 10, and bring your legs forward. Nice job. Let's roll our shoulders back just in case we took some of the shoulder, which we shouldn't have done, but I don't know. Now, before we go to the other side, we're going to do a plank set. I'm going to go this way so I can see the clock. Again, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to do a 30-minute hold. 
and then plank. And then we're going to do ta uh, shoulder taps, 10 sets, all right? Your plank can be long armed or dolphin. I prefer long arm because of my wrist. Um, <clears throat> it feels like more weight when I don't know why, when it's dolphin. Dolphin is with your palms this way on your mat. We're going to push through, big inhale, push. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders, right? Head is ahead of your hands. Don't lift it or lower it. Belly button is to the spine. You're pulling in, you can feel your hips actually engage and your heels engage and your hamstring and your glutes and your abdominus rectus, right? Good, keep going, hold it right there. This is very easy for us. We who can do five minute, can't see my time, my second hand. We can do five minute um, planks. This is nothing for us. I'm talking about you. Yeah. Perfect. Good job. And bring yourself down, sit back briefly, and then we'll come back up. And we'll do the shoulder taps. Now you can do the shoulder taps through the elbows. I'll show you how right here. Tap, tap. But that's not as effective as doing the long arm. So if you can do long arm on the second set, that would be great. Slide your legs out. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, seven, eight. How do you wobble? Not back and forth. Nine. You keep your legs a little bit separated. Ten more. Ten. So keep those legs a little bit separated. Nine, because if they're eight, if they're tight, you're gonna wobble side to side. Seven, six, unless you're perfectly aligned. Five, which you might be four, three, two, one. And bring it down. All right, we're gonna go back to the plank hold. So take a nice deep breath right here. You want it to be super fueled before you go into it. And I wanna get something on the clock that I can see. Big inhale and exhale and bring it back here 30 seconds. All right? Push through, hands under the shoulders, eyes ahead on the floor, lift it through the legs. Nice job. Good. Perfect. Belly button to the spine. You aren't wiggling. You are holding. You feel powerful. This is nothing. You could be reading a book, turn the page. Yeah, this is amazing. I have a bunch of books right here we could read. Uh, infinite Country by Patricia Engel, Louise Erdrich's Sentence, No Ordinary Wonder by Vuki Papillion. There we go. Keep it going. Let me see where the timer is. Oh, we're past. Come on back. <laughs> that was more than 30 seconds. I hope you don't mind. All right, let's do the shoulder touches. Last set on the planks, then we go to the other side. All right, shoulder touches. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, all right, eight, keep going, nine. So make sure you put your hand under your shoulder every time, 10. Sometimes people, 10 arms have a tendency to creep forward, nine, eight, so make sure they land, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come to your knees, sit back and jump. Right. So let's go to the other side. We're going to start with those planks. So come on to your side. I'm going to bring the camera uh, off so I can see it. All right, come on to the side. You make your choice, so long arm or bent arm. Staggered legs are stacked or supported. Get ready. In six seconds, we're going to take it up. Make sure you're all the way down. Take, take those hips under, head on your spine, and bring it up for 30. There we go, hold it. Good job, try to clear the floor. Yes, there we go, pull that belly button in. So is your weight pushing on your shoulder? So this is one of the things I'm really protective of because you have shoulders and your neck, so you know that, and your back's always. So if you're feeling that weight on your shoulder, you really have to work hard I'm getting that energy down your body. I'm losing my plank right here. There we go. And then bring it back down. So that's one of the things I worry about. So one of the things you might do for a while 
is do staggered legs until you do that breathing all the way down because that'll support you. Let's do the tuck unders. Let's go. One, lift, two, lift, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And lower down. All right, let's just stretch quickly and then we'll go to the second plank. Good. All right, get ready. Here it goes. And inhale up. Right now, I didn't talk about being long on your arm. You could also be long on your arm like that. Right? Good. Keep going. Lift it. Get that body breathing down. Breathing down. There you go. Take it up. Good. Nice. Keep going. Can you stop biting your arm? Can you do that? Could you please? Okay, thank you. And bring it all the way down. Now we're going to do the tuck unders. Good. Lift up. And one. Two. Good. Three. Good job. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. And ten. Lower down and go into a pike. If you want to stretch down for a second, just to get yourself a quick breath, to supply some oxygen for the next set. And all right, let's bring ourselves up. Elbow back, align with the shoulder. Glutes are back, the legs are off into a hinge. Pointed toes so the feet are off the floor. You can have your hand any way that helps you keep those hips in alignment. Let's go. Lift, lift, down, and one. Lift, lift, down, and two. Remember, you can be here if you want to. Lift, it's harder to lift, and three, because you don't have that contraction, and four. Lift, lift, down, and five. Lift, lift, six, seven, Eight, good job. Nine, 10 more, nice. 10, nine, good. Eight, seven, six, touch. Five, four, good. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna lift and lower for 10. One, good. Two, nice. So one of the things, three, I didn't talk about before, is don't let the legs rotate. Four, you wanna keep the knees facing forward, five. So sometimes we even rotate the bottom leg, six, on that second one, seven. So careful with that. This only has eight, or nine, nine, and 10, last one. So what I'm talking about on that second set, is lift, some people rotate to reach. Don't let that second leg rotate, okay? All right, let's do the set. Lift, lift, lower, one. Good, and two. Good, and three. Nice, four, you got it. Five, six, perfect. Seven, eight, good. Nine, 10 more, 10, good, nine. Why are you doing anything? Eight, seven, I'm sorry, a little offset drama here, six, uh, drama in the wings, five, four, good, three, two, and one, good. All right, let's do the last set on the side here. One, two, really make it work. Three, so I want you to be focused for pulling up under that rib cage. Five, come on, let's really do it. We only have five more. Six, pull it up under. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we throw it forward and slide it down. Good, nice stretch right here. Bring yourself up. Let's go back down onto the floor. Nice. 
All right, inner thigh work. You can keep your head down for this for sure, because this one doesn't need the support of your lats or the curl up. You can also curl up for this, because that also gives you the extra added um, abdominus rectus engagement. All right, right leg to tabletop and left leg to tabletop. You're gonna put your feet together and lift your toes to 45. You can be curled up and looking through your inner thigh. Legs go out and in, clamshell. Good. Make sure you can see this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice and slow. Pause out there. Nine. First will be faster. Ten next time. One. Squeeze that big rubber ball in the middle. Three. Come on, squeeze it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nine. And 20. Now we hold it out here and take the legs apart. So the second half is going to be one leg extensions and the other leg extensions. So one, two, you can feel that work here. Three, good. Four, make sure it's rotated out. Five, six, but the foot is in. Seven, so it's your froggy. Eight, nine, ten more. Good. One, good. Two, Three, good. Four, reach it. Five, feels hard. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reach the other side. One, and we'll skip the part. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven. Point it feet on both sides. Eight. Nine, look through the thigh, not at the foot. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. You got it. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now put those feet together and close them. Let's do 20. One. Faster. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Separate the legs. One, two, push, three, a little faster, four, five. So you can really feel the pump going on in the inner thigh and the outer thigh. Seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them together, lower your head and hug your knees, let me get back here. All right, so as I promised, teaser and canoe, take a nice deep breath. I'm gonna give you a break right before this. So bring your knees in, curl up, get some stretch right here. Nice, and release. So what's the difference between teaser and canoe? They're both legs and chest off the floor, right? They're both curled up. And it's not just the height of the legs, right? Because in teaser, we're all the way up here, right? Oops, up here. And canoe, we're down here. So that you can feel. In the canoe, you have a lot more lat and hip engagement than you do in the teaser. So while this works the long, the length of the, the core dimensions, in the canoe, you're also pulling in the side a lot. So let's start with the teaser. And we're gonna do 10 really slow ones. I wanna start with the supported teaser. For those of you who aren't big teasers and um, and just like support, you like your per your technique to be perfect, so you add, you add support. We'll do four of those. I'll do four of those in support position. You can stay there and then I'll go to the other position. So for support position, you're in tabletop and you curl up right? 
So tabletop, you're gonna go in the inhale and the exhale, you're gonna push the legs out and bring the body up. You hold the teaser position, you go back to the tabletop and you curl yourself all the way down. You don't lower the legs because you want them ready for the second teaser. So inhale, get that big drive in that inhale so that the exhale powers you to the top. You point those legs and you bring them back to tabletop as you curl yourself down. I'm gonna do two more like that and then join the other teasers with the long leg one. Bring yourself up, push through. Good, make sure your shoulder blades are dropped and they aren't up by your ears. And then bring it back down. One more supported one and again, you can stay with this for the rest of the routine, the final six, curl, extend, nice. Back to tabletop and bring it all the way down. All right, regular teaser, legs are long. This is a gentle lift, so you do create that big inhale and you exhale, you curl yourself up, you hover your legs up and they come up together. And then you lower them back down. Five, I'm not rushing through them on this. Big inhale, exhale, inhale, curl. Six, lift, lift. Drop your shoulder blade, bring it down. Nice, remember there's gonna be a second set of these. So you might nail your form right here. Curl, seven. All right, remember if you're in the supported ones, you're doing a great job, you just bend your legs. As you come down and keep them in tabletop, here comes the last three. Curl, eight, good, point those feet. Nice, lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Two more. Inhale up, nine. And drop those shoulder blades and bring it down. Big inhale and 10. Bring those legs up nice and lower them down. So I'm gonna give you a supported canoe, also 10. So tabletop for the supported canoe. You're going to bring yourself up and then just extend forward and then bring it down. And two, extend forward and down. And three, extend forward and down. Four, just like that. And you can stay with that. And down, everybody else, we're gonna lift from the floor. Hover five and lower six. Good. Seven, nice, eight. Now, when you hold yourself up there, you can breathe. You don't have to hold your breath. Nine, and 10, and breathe yourself down. Now we're gonna go back to those teasers. Let's just do windshield wipers with our legs. This will finish out our superset routine for today. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting day. All right, I'll start with supported again to help, the, to help all of us who are working hard on our technique. Inhale and one, and slowly bring it down. Again, we're gonna work a little faster. Curl up, two, nice. Curl up, three, nice. Curl up, four. Now I'm going to the long-legged ones. I think it's really important, curl up, that you get that beginning part, five, and lower down. As I was saying, curl up, six, in a workout I did, I think it was last week, seven. I took it really, really slow, and I showed how curl up, eight, how all of these inhales and exhales were connected to body movement. Curl up, nine, nice. And so it's really important, you know that if you fuel yourself and you get ready, you can lift yourself gently and 10. All right, canoe, last thing, then we stretch. Arms overhead, one, two, nice, three, good job, four, nice. I'm going to extend the leg, five, nice. Six, 
seven, eight, good job, nine, and 10. And lower it down. Put your feet on the floor in front of your knees, your knees pointing to the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath right here. And again, nod your chin down. Put one heel on top of the opposite knee and drop that knee toward the one that's on the floor. So whatever direction you're going in. So you're feeling a hip stretch, a lat stretch, and a shoulder stretch, along with the obliques. Take it up and take it the other way. Put those feet side by side. Then the other side, drop it over. Drop toward the lower leg to begin. Get that whole big stretch on the opposite side. And then you take it forward and you get mostly the oblique stretch. Don't let your feet get contorted. You just want them nice and neutral. Now here you're gonna stack and bring yourself around and push yourself up. Good. We're gonna go into our straddle right away mostly because I used up a lot of time with those supersets today. Make sure you're on your sit bones. So if you don't get on your sit bones by sitting with your legs out, bend your legs so that you're on your sit bones, right? We put our hands in front of us, drop our shoulder blades, head over tailbone. And keeping your legs loose but long, you're gonna walk forward. Soft elbows, don't harden those elbows. And you're just trying to get your chest down. So make sure that you're not dropping your head. All right, so you're gonna feel a lot of pull just from, you know, we just did those teasers, so we accessed our hamstring and we did inner thigh work right before that. So this stretch is going to address those parts of your body. And then walk it back in. Also articulating as you come up, right? And we're gonna walk out one more time. Drop. We're gonna roll our shoulders first two, four times to the back, three and four forward, one, two, three and four, and then walk forward. Good. Feel that stretch. Now, this time you're probably getting a little bit lower because you've opened the hinge on the side of your leg. So let's make sure our legs don't pop or drop, right? So you're down here holding it. and then walk it back. Let's take our arms out to the side. We're going behind the leg for a nice side bend so we don't rotate the hip at all. You stay over the trunk. I just love how many ways trunk can be used in our language. That's why teaching English as a second language is so hard. You mean the car trunk, you mean the elephant trunk, you mean the body trunk. It's all so crazy. Then come across to the leg, so you bring the hand in now, and then over toward the leg. So now you're doing the hips. You can feel the hips, a little bit of the glutes rotating. Putting the hands together, rotate your chest and bring it down. You can grab, keep the elbows soft, but grab onto something and pull yourself down, create some tension to open up that back. Then rotate back to the side, and then all the way up, back to airplane, behind your leg for a side stretch. Keep yourself aligned. Don't let your head tilt downward. Just drop forward. Can you guys hear the banging of the wind here? Good. Then bring yourself up and then over that leg. Good job. And then put those hands together, rotate, and bring it down. Good. Open the leg, open the arms and the chest goes back to the center. I want to remind you while we're here, hands under the eyes and push long that I'm not having class on Tuesday and Wednesday. So no class this Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be back on Thursday and then back to our normal um, schedule next week. Bend your arms if you can and hold that stretch and bring it back in and bounce those legs together. Let's get it across your legs and then very comfortable fashion. I want you to wiggle, 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 and then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the other way. I just have an overload of work I've got to do. I've got to like wake up early in the morning, inhale up, ceiling and down, and inhale up and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming.